Welcome to our Team Group tutorial how to create document as a work instruction type. Work instruction type document is a document that consists of several steps and each step has its own informative time limit, a description. You can also add key points to your document to each step and tools that there are needed for each step. And because this is an interactive document, you are able to work with your photos and videos. So when you click on it, it will automatically zoom in and then you can just follow the instructions. You are also able to select your uh, personal protective equipment items for your document and they first have to be added into the system and to add them in the system you have to go to our documents module and from the menu choose PPE and the same thing would go for material and products you add them in the system and then you can use them for the document. So now when I click on PPE now it will take me to the PPE list and then now you will see already existing ones and to add the new one you will have to click the green plus button. And now to learn how we work with our document we go its, uh, to its uh, settings so we click the edit pencil and now you will see that this first part is the same uh, that we went over uh, in our video tutorial for documents. Uh, so please check that video tutorial and here you will see that once you choose the type work instruction with steps you will have the summary of PPEs that are already all created in the system and now you can just go ahead and check the ones that they are relevant for your document and you are also able to add uh, any attachments to your document and the next you can complete uh, the fields opening part and all the way on the bottom uh, closing part. Both are just a simple text field so when you need to write your text you just need to click this added pencil and just write your text. Once again it's just optional. You can also use editing buttons and once you are done you click save button. And once you do that, now you will see your opening part in a document right here. And when you scroll all the way down, you will see your closing part. And now we are ready to set up our individual steps. You see there are some steps that are already created. And to add a step, you have to click this green plus button. Once you click that button, uh, you will be able to add your new step. Here you will select your title, so it will show right here. Uh, time, it will show like that. Description, same thing. Uh, and then here you can add the key points uh, by checking the box and write in what it is. Uh, you will see this is the HSCs, uh, warnings, here are the critical characteristics and significant characteristics. And then you are also able to add pictures and videos. And the next, uh, you will select your material that it's needed. Uh, you have uh, two options, you can either just type uh, material manually in or uh, you can select material from the list that it's created in the system under documents and material tab and when you do select this option you have to click this uh, blue button new material and then from the menu it will give you a selection of predefined options from the system and if you need to add more than one materials you have to uh, click this green plus button or if you need to delete you will click uh, delete button and tools here you can uh, add any tools and then you just manually enter it in let's say hammer screwdriver or whatever you need uh, for the step and you just uh, put it in and then you can also add any attachments and uh, once you are done with your step and all the settings you just click save button and here you will also notice that each step uh, you have uh, options to copy the step within your document. So when you click uh, this icon you will see that you have uh, options to choose from when you want to insert the step. Uh, you also have an option to drag and drop your step. So let's say that I decide to have this step as a step 8. And now you will see that even the numbering will change automatically. So I put it right back. And you also have an option to add it uh, step and it will be the same as we just finished with our settings when you can change uh, anything. 
And once you are done with all of your steps uh, and you're ready to send your document for approval, you will um, follow the same instructions that we went over in our video tutorial documents. And this is all for today's video tutorial. If you have any questions or need any assistance, please don't hesitate to contact us at support at We would be very happy to hear from you.